hi lovelies welcome back to another video so today we are doing press on nails with an alcohol ink valentine's day inspired nail art design wow that was a mouthful but, be but before i jump into the video i have to give a huge shout out to my notification squad you guys are awesome these were the first three people to comment on my last video to all of you guys who actually take the time out of your day to drop a comment i really and truly appreciate it so today i am doing a really quick unboxing and review before I jump into the nail art design portion of the video and it is on the Burano marble nail polish set of eight now I have had this for a while to be honest with you guys and I'm finally getting around to using it and damming it for you guys and as you saw on the box it does have their Christmas gift eight color set marked on it but I am finally getting to use it today. So at the top of every package with Burano, it does have this big stop and the turnover. So it has the replacement insurance card. Now let's be real, you're not going to get product replacement unless it leaks or breaks or anything like that. And it does have the Burano. Thank you for purchasing the Burano marble nail polish. And on the other side, it does have the how to DIY your own nail art and you can go ahead and pause this video at any time to read through it I'm just going to quickly run through exactly what you need to do in order to achieve a really good quality marble design and you do get it so this is how it come packaged I honestly honestly speaking wanted to review this kit for you guys because of this this is actually the gold marble ink and it does says shake it before use so I'm going to go ahead and take all these inks out of the packaging really quickly. So these bottles don't have color numbers or anything like that. It's just what you see on it, which is the Burano Marble Nails Blooming Nail Polish. And it is 7.3 ml and you do have the warning at the back. And every single bottle is like this. So they also included this clear, they call it the clear blooming ink, but I just find that it smells like a mixture of acetone and alcohol together. Yes, I did sniff it. I don't know why I did that, but I did. I just needed to know what it smelled like. So I usually use acetone with my marbles and I really loved how this worked it did dry really fast like the alcohol ink of itself it dried faster than my DIY version to marble inks and if you guys missed that video I would have it on the screen in the cards you guys can go ahead and check it out how I actually created my own set of marble inks now the reason why I did that is when marble inks first came out they were hella expensive like do you guys remember the prices that some people even to this day are still calling for alcohol inks like it's ridiculous so i decided to actually create my own i'm not the first person so i'm not taking credit for that at all i know a few other nail technicians artists like people who do paintings and canvases and stuff like that who actually created their own and i decided to do it and show you guys my way so you can go ahead and check that video out however this entire kit by Burano cost $15.99 on Amazon you do get free shipping with orders $25 and over or if you have prime then you already know what time it is so I am going to be playing around with these and just swatching them out on camera while I have a chat with you guys and then I'm going to tell you my final thoughts after I'm finished swatching them out because I do have a few thoughts on these inks even though the price is really good. So while you guys watch that let's have a chat how have you guys been it has been about three weeks since you guys heard from me my first video that I posted for the year had no voiceover on it but I need to be honest really honest with you and very transparent because you guys know we are here to uplift each other so it has nothing to do with comments or anything like that on YouTube but I have been between a rock and a hard place if it is that I really wanted to continue posting on YouTube it saddens me to even think that way but recently like I have been questioning myself a lot when it comes to the videos that I'm posting, the work that I have to put into editing, and I do enjoy editing. Don't get me wrong, it takes a while, 
but I do enjoy it because I get to chat with you guys and I it's generally something that I do as a hobby which is YouTube is just like a hobby it's a way to send any source of information help that I can contribute to the nail community to share with you guys I do have a love and a passion for nails in general for those of you who know and if you're new to my channel I am a certified nail technician and I have been that way since 2014 I don't know it, it was just like part of me YouTube started flagging some of my videos for copyrights which is annoying because I really go to that extent to get copyright free music to include in my videos for you guys so that was one of the triggers and then another one was I'm posting videos and I'm watching my analytics and a lot of you guys are not watching the videos from start to finish so that was another like disappointment because I do put a lot of time and energy into my videos and to know that you guys are not watching it is it that you're not liking it is it too long like tell me in the comment section below what is the longest video you would actually like to watch on YouTube so that way I can keep it to a minimum but know if I do that then I'm going to be speeding up a lot of the video in general So because my week gets hectic from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I decided to switch my upload days to Sunday and Wednesday. Yes, yeah, Sunday and Wednesday. And I'm looking at 6 p.m. So if 6 p.m. is good for you, go ahead and leave me this emoji with your comments in the comment section below because I'm really trying to gauge an upload time for you guys. And I just really wanted to address this. So I believe personally, if I get my upload schedule under control, I'll be able to better produce content for you guys. So I look forward to hearing what you guys think about this idea. let me address this color this is actually supposed to be black i believe it's the black alcohol ink in this set no matter how many layers i applied on top of each other it started out as a dark gray and then when i went in with the clear ink it started turning to a lighter shade of bluish gray with a little hint of black and brown in between so what you see on camera it's a little bit more on the gray side in person and I really did not like that. This did not do any justice for black alcohol inks at all. But on the bright side, let's look at this gorgeous beauty. This gold is stunning. And you guys heard when I said it before, this is the reason why I actually wanted to do this review, was to try out this gold ink. Now, when I started using the clear ink, it was a little bit difficult to get those nice veiny lines that I like to see inside of my marble. But once I got the hang of it, it worked out. And I know that it's hard to see on the white background, but it is stunning. It looked even better over that matte black and I was really and truly impressed with how the marble turned out. What disappointed me the most about the gold is that it smeared once I applied my no wipe gel top coat. So everything that I worked to accomplish within the veins and everything like that, like all those little details just totally evaporated <laughs> once it is I put my top coat on and i was really disappointed with that because i was looking forward so much to incorporating these goals in my design today but after doing that it was a total loss for me that black looks so good like look at that look at that as it is right there isn't that just beautiful I totally spoiled it when I top coated it like I was so mad when I put that gloss on it but the gold after top coating it it just ruined it like look at that everything just smeared it literally just smudged everything it was really disappointing I'm not going to lie to you guys because it looks so good before I put that top coat on it's time for my final thoughts 
out of the eight bottles that does come in this set for $15.99 US, I would say you can use six of them comfortably and that six does include the clear alcohol ink. So you do get the colors such as the pink, the purple, that brownish mustard color, the red and the blue out of the entire set so you will get six out of eight which is not bad at all now that black you can still use it to replace a gray so it's not that you can't use it it's just not going to be black so that is my honest review on these alcohol inks by Burano. so i will have it linked in my description box below for those of you who are interested it's linked down there so let's get into the nail art design of this video so i'm starting off with two coats and this is my thumbnail i am using the gel x nail tips long stuff oh gosh i'm so accustomed to saying long stilettos so they're long coffin and i'm applying two coats of this gorgeous lavender color and this is by madame glam and it's called blissfully yours and it was in their thank you collection last year and it's absolutely gorgeous and so now i'm going in with my no wipe gel top good by mccord this is from the pink poly gel kit that i reviewed and i'm just going to be sticking down some of these rhinestones that i actually got from mccord as well so i'm not using my rhinestone gel in this video because i realized that i'm wasting it and i don't need to because i don't keep on my press-ons for that long like the longest i'll keep them on for is about a week so there's no need to waste something that i really love using on my clients for long to purposes and i'm using these really cute purple heart glitters that i've had forever so after i place down my rhinestones and i'm happy with the way that they lined up i'm going to go ahead and kill this nail On this nail as well, I'm going to do the exact same thing by applying two coats of this lilac color. So what I'm going to do with this is after curing the two coats of gel, I am going to go in again with that no wipe gel top coat and I'm going to be placing down some crystals around the cuticle area. Yes, I know cuticle bling is it, okay? It's life to me and I absolutely love cuticle bling. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love it really, really badly so and i don't like much bling around the cuticles either i need to keep it like really simple and classy so after i'm happy with the placement on this nail i'm going to go ahead and cure that as well So on this nail, I'm going to apply two coats of my Madame Glam's Perfect White. And after I cure those two coats, I'm going to go in with my Madame Glam's Matte Gel Polish. And I'm going to go ahead and cure that as well before I actually start using my alcohol inks. Now, it is very important that you go on top of a matte surface when it comes to doing alcohol inks to get the best results. Even if you go in and remove that tacky layer off of that gel polish and then apply your alcohol inks, you still don't get the best results and I find that that layer is not matte enough. So what would happen is it would still slip, that alcohol ink would still slip all across the nail and sometimes it creates a hot hot mess. Trust me, I've been there, I've tried it like that. When you are applying the ink onto the matte top coat as well, you want to do it in a patting motion or dabbing motion instead of a dragging motion. Because when you drag it, you kind of lessen down the pigmentation of the colors on the nails. And when you pat it and that alcohol ink dries in place, it leaves the colors really nice and vibrant. Even when you go over it with your solution that you choose, whether it be alcohol, acetone, or the clear alcohol ink that comes with the kit. So the glitters that I'm using for this part of the video is by the Veronica Shop. This is the 
Twinkle Star Glitter and I'm also using some of their shreds, the iridescent ones. If you guys are interested, I do have a coupon code, well an affiliate link in my description box below. Their website is amazing, like the quality of their glitters, their nail art and stuff like that. I really love their dry flower collections as well. So you guys can go ahead and check them out. The coupon code is automatically applied at checkout. Once it is, you click on the link in my description box below. If you happen to visit the website, go ahead and enter the coupon code and you will get your discount anyway. So I am using just my base coat gel to apply the glitters where I want them to, making sure that they are nice and flat because I am going to go over them with just about two coats of my base coat gel. So after I do that, I am going to go ahead and kill each layer of that base coat for 30 seconds and repeat the same thing to another nail. And this is actually going to be the background for my stamping and yes, I'm doing nail art stamping today really quick, really simple and I have not done stamping in forever so I was really excited to do some stamping today and I forgot that I had this beauty big bang valentine's day stamping plate and i've never used it and i've had it for a while so today i decided to whip it out and create a design using it my stamping today was a little bit shaky but because the design was so simple i could have gone in and fixed where i needed to fix and i'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do that with any stamping design just go in and fix it because i didn't have the time or i didn't feel like taking it off yeah, I was being lazy. I was being totally lazy today. I didn't feel like taking it off and putting it back on and taking it off and putting it back on. I just decided to go in and simply This is the image that I'm stamping on this nail. Now I did do the other half of it, but I didn't have it recorded as usual. I started my nonsense for 2020, like I completely forgot that I was recording, but I'm going to show you guys it with this one. So this is just the little heart with those lines, like if you're watching a heart monitor and part of it is missing. So I'm going to take Perfect Black by Madame Glam and my number zero art brush by crystal nails and i'm going to go in and fix those lines up because as you guys can see they were like missing gaps the heart was looking a little bit one-sided because of how i lift my stamper while i was rolling it when i wasn't supposed to do that so i just went in and make everything look good after i was finished and happy with the way that the design turned out i just popped it into the light and gave it a cure for just about 15 seconds I did go in with my no I'm gel top coat and coated over this nail about two times. Now with all these layers of polish and gel top coats and base coats that I'm adding onto this nail, once I apply my press-ons, I go in with my 100 grit hand file and I just reshape my sidewalls and my free edge to get back that nice coffin shaped nail for the end result. So I don't worry too much about wiping down the sides, drawing 
well yes I do I wipe down the sides once I remember to do it I wipe down the sides of the nail while I'm applying my gel but that doesn't stop me from going in at the end and reshaping them once they are fitted on my nails so we are on to the final nail of this set and I'm just going to do the same thing that I did for two other nails which is apply two coats of this gorgeous lilac color and I cure it in between each coat for 30 seconds. Now after I do this and I cure that second coat, I am going to remove that tacky layer and I'm going to go in with my liquid latex and I'm going to draw on a smile line. Now if it is that I find that I need to alter my smile line a bit, I'm taking my cleaner brush with just a little bit of acetone and I'm going to go in and alter that until I'm happy with it, I'm going to allow it to dry. So this is the stamping clay that I'm using. It is the Beauty Big Bang 017 and I did use the entire heart shape design down to the bottom and now this abstract heart design that I'm going to be applying to this nail. Now as I said my stamping was not perfect today and I was way too lazy to go in and remove the entire smile line and everything and fix it. So I'm just going to take a small clean up brush and some acetone and I'm going to go in and clean up every little area that I I need to as much as possible now if it's going to be easier for you to go ahead and just remove the entire thing and stamp over that's fine but for me this was easier so all the little pieces I needed to fix I went back in with that fine detailer brush and the Madame Glam's perfect black and I just went in and fixed those hearts now it doesn't need to be perfect the outline just needs to be really nice and clean so after fixing it I did go ahead and pop this in the light and give it a cure for 15 seconds Now I'm just removing the liquid latex from the smile line area and I did go in and draw out my smiling area with that same perfect black I didn't show it on camera because it's like I'm just following the guide as to where that liquid latex was so now I'm going in with my no wipe gel top coat and I'm going to coat over the entire nail and apply three crystals to the cuticle area as well as one of those purple hearts that we used at the beginning of the video. After I line it up and I'm happy with the placement of it, I do go in and cure this nail for a full 30 seconds. And now I'm taking that same fine detailer brush and inside some of the hearts I'm laying down my no wipe gel top coat and I'm going to be creating that sugar effect in some of the whole hearts that you can see on the nail. Before I cure it I am taking a dry cleanup brush and just dusting away the excess from on that outline that we drew in with the gel. After I do that I'm going back in with the purple gel polish and i'm going to sort of raise some of those hearts off the nail to give it a little bit of a cushion effect so after doing that cushioned effect i went ahead and i cured everything for a full cure of 30 seconds next i'm going in with a very thin layer of my no wipe gel top coat and i'm going to brush over this nail now i do want that nail to have a slight cushion effect i didn't want it to be too major so just like how i would do the top coat when i'm applying my chrome on a unicorn nail very nice and thin so that we can keep the definition of the unicorn horn is the exact same technique I used when I was top coating this nail after curing everything that was it for this design and that is it for this video I will have a clip at the end of the final result to share with you guys I hope you guys enjoy this really cute fast 
Valentine's Day nail art design using the Burano alcohol inks. I absolutely love how they turned out. I didn't want to do alcohol inks on all of my nails because for the most part, I do encourage my clients if we're doing marbling, it's either a French design if it's on all the nails or an accent nail. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can incorporate the marble with your regular nail art designs. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below. And why not join the notification squad by clicking on the bell icon right next to that big red subscribe button. Don't forget to drop that emoji for the little chit chat that we had earlier on and check out my description box for all the links to products used in this video. So that is it for me. I am out. So let's make the best of 2020. Of course, we need to stay glamorous, be safe, and I'll see you soon. I remember your skin on mine